Hello, I'm Alison from Bag Lady Bird Learn to Sew. Today I'm going to show you how to thread up the Janome 725S Sewist sewing machine. Um, this is a nice mechanical model with an automatic needle threader and a top loading bobbin. So if you've got something similar, you might find this really useful as well. Got a bobbin, a spool of thread, Make sure your thread is coming from underneath towards you. Pop that on there and pop your stopper on the end. And then just pull your thread out and it needs to sit between the two layers of that spring there. That little screw has a spring under it, just there. So it's like you're flossing around that. Then you want the end of the thread to come up and through that little hole in the bobbin. So there's a little hole there that comes up through the middle and up. And then you can pop that onto the winder. Move the winder to the left. Switch the power on on the machine. Now this particular machine, the um, needle goes out of gear as soon as you click this to the right and then once you do so just hold the thread foot on the pedal keep holding the thread tightly till it's wound around a few times then use your scissors snip that thread short and then put on your pedal and you can continue winding So you keep going, keep going. With a nice even speed. And when the bobbin is full, it will slow. It will stop eventually, but once it starts to slow, just snip your thread off there. Click this back to the left, and that is your bobbin wound. So it should be nice and firm. It shouldn't be fluffy or light. The tension makes sure that the, the thread is firm. So you just you should be able to kind of poke at it, and it doesn't feel spongy. That is your bobbin wound correctly, ready to insert it into the machine. Okay, so we're going to replace this bobbin. So you just move that to the right. Take the plastic bit out. Don't lose that. They're very easy to lose because they're clear. Pull your thread out gently. And then you get your replacement bobbin. So your thread, you want the thread to come down the left hand side like so and then you just drop it into the space just hold on the plastic bit here and you can see there's a little groove just here there's also a narrow etched into the metal here to show you um, and your thread just sits in that groove if you hold the plastic bobbin and move that round to the side it clicks into place and that is what gets your tension on your bobbin so that is your tension on your bobbin once you've done that you can replace the lid. I like to wait to replace the plastic lid, plastic cover, until I've threaded the upper. The thread was around the screw here. We'll unwind that. Bring this around the back of this plastic bit. It just slots around the back. And then you follow the arrow. So two down here. Three is under this bit here. And four is around the take-up lever here. Now if you just turn the hand wheel on the side of the machine, it will raise the take-up lever higher. Um, and you can just bring your thread around that till it clicks into place, past the spring and into the front part, and then your thread goes down that part there. It's down here, around there's a little hook on the side of the needle there, it just comes around. And then make sure your needle is in the highest position, which is there. And the th automatic threader. So 
bring your finger onto this little bit here. That brings down a little hook that comes through the eye of the needle. Um, you need to be relatively firm but you don't want to damage the hook because it's very fragile. Your thread then comes around the top of here, over the left hand side and then underneath and then you draw your thread across in front of the eye of the needle. Once you've done this, keep hold both hands and then release both hands at the same time. So just release and there we go, you've got a little loop through to the back, pull that through, make sure you pull it the right way and then thread under the presser foot hold it out to the side so you're holding your top thread and turn the hand wheel top towards you you must always turn it top towards you and that thread will go around hook the lower thread up and then I usually use scissors or something similar just to pull that out and you've got your top thread and your bottom thread coming together and you can just pop that little lid back on like so. Well, I hope you found that super useful and you're going to find it easy now to thread up your machine. Um, remember to click subscribe so you get to see all my other videos as they come up and you can also find more exclusive member only content in my membership club. I'll pop the link in the comments below.